crazy budget. How does it feel to be named after a Hall of Famer, even though you know your name is from from the Bible? Yeah, you know, yeah. um, it's it's an amazing feeling. I mean, because there's two sides to the story, like you said. My mom grew up in church, so she wanted to spell it the biblical way, so it's that side. And then also, me being a basketball player and being named after one of the best point guards to ever play is a, is a, is a, is a good feeling. There's a lot of impressions in the media that um, the men of color, they'd rather, you know, just play basketball and stuff like that. Um, what role has education, you know, played in your life in school? Um, it's played a big role because without education, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, I actually... I left school, I left college a year early to, to reach my goal of making it to the NBA. And throughout that whole first year in the NBA, I was, I was taking classes and I graduated in my first year of, of playing in the NBA. So it's definitely something that's important to me. And I always promised my parents I would get a college degree and I, yeah, I'm, I was able to do that. And what exactly is the IT help desk? Um, it's, it's a form of my foundation, just going to communities around the cities that I'm involved in. and, and and really giving back to the kids, showing them that anything's possible. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't be what you want to be. And um, every day I always have somebody tell me that I wasn't going to be an NBA player. What inspired you to you know, start this whole foundation? I'm just, the main thing is giving back. I mean, all the communities I'm a part of, I want to be one of the, one of the guys that give back. And because in my community, there wasn't, there wasn't professional athletes that, that gave back or there wasn't somebody we can really look up to and, and, and reach out to and, and, and just talk to at any time. And I want to be that, that voice and that guy that I'm always around the community because I know the community, if it supports me, the least I can do is support the community and whatever it may be. And I, I, just, want to know, I just want people to know that I'm, I'm just like them. What have you learned about Boston, you know, in your time being there? Support. I mean, the, this is the best city I've been a part of. I've been a, on three NBA teams, and I, I can't tell you the, the support level has is, is been amazing. And, and it makes you want to go out there and just play your heart out. I mean, and, and, it, and it's more than just being a, a professional athlete. Like, this, this city really, really cares about everybody in it. And, and I, I, I love being a part of it, and hopefully I'm here for a while. How did it feel to be selected as an All-Star this year? Blessing, a blessing from God. Um, just knowing that all your hard work and dedication has paid off. And um, it, it was an amazing feeling, amazing moment for me and my family to be able to be next to Kobe Bryant and those type of guys that I always looked up to. And I always told myself I, I want to be in their shoes and I want to be an all-star one day in it. So it was, a, it was an amazing moment for me. And I, it's still hard to explain because yeah. it, it doesn't feel like it was real. So I got a. This is a question that I, I kind of wanted to ask. Um, for you to have 25 plus points with no turnovers in you know, the last couple of days, how has that, you know, how has your game elevated? Um, it's just, I'm growing. Um, I'm growing as a basketball player. I'm, I'm understanding the game a lot more. I'm, I'm a student of the game, so I, I like to study the things that not just only myself do or my teammates do, but my opponents. And um, the game has slowed down for me and I'm just, out there trying to make the right play each and every time down and luckily the last few games I haven't I haven't made a mistake on the offensive end. So. <laughs> what is um any you have any like specific routines before the game? Um, not really. I, I listen to music. I mean I, I say a prayer before every game. I, I try to try to lock in and, and really just get my mind right and worry about the opponent. Um, and then just go out there and play. Once the ball tips I kinda I'm in my zone and, and going out there and leaving it all on the floor. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, too. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you.